With 9.1 well underway, we now have a much better understanding of the Season 2 meta. While some of our predictions were right on in our 9.1 forecast video, some things need some revision. Oof. Yeah, let's just forget about that. So, we're here today to give you an update into what classes are truly reigning supreme in Shadowlands Season 2. We will be considering the performance of each class in 2v2, 3v3, RBGs, and even solo PvP while giving a score in each category. So stick around to see how you rank in PvP for 9.1. Also, if you're looking to rank up this season, consider checking out skillcap.com slash wow. For prices as low as a Twitch subscription, you can get access to hundreds of hours of class courses and arena commentaries featuring some of the best players in the world. On top of that, you will get access to the premium sections of our Discord server, including our Ask a Pro and Request a macro section where you can get help with all of your PvP needs. With a money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose, so be sure to check out skillcap.com slash wow today. Starting off, we have the absolute best classes to main in 9.1, and when it comes to playing multiple roles, there's no better class than Druid, with every spec having a role in PvP. In 2v2, Resto Druid is arguably the best healer, especially when paired with warriors, hunters, or assassination rogues. In 3v3, Resto is still high tier and will likely outperform the rest of the healing roster once the game starts to slow down with higher stamina and versatility values. Feral is also doing well in both brackets, all while having access to one of the best comps in the entire expansion with Jungle Cleave. Balance is currently high tier but isn't that well represented in arenas due to some fairly limited comp options, but RBGs are an entirely different story, where Balance is one of the most important specs to have on any roster due to their insane flexibility in both teamfights and objective-based gameplay. And speaking of RBGs, having a Guardian off spec as a balanced druid is in really high demand since our bear friends are the best flag carriers in the entire game. And since Feral is one of the best 1v1 specs in Shadowlands, which we can see with recent dueling tournament results, you really can't go wrong with playing Druid this season. If you're looking to play more than one role in PvP, but Druid isn't your thing, Priest is one of the best multi-spec classes in the entire game. All three specs are doing exceptionally well in Arena right now, with Disc and Holy being swappable in many comps and Shadow representing one of the best caster DPS in the entire game. One bonus of playing Priest is that the Ideal Covenant is the same for all three specs, with Venthyr continuing to perform well in 9.1 as a counter to hybrid healing. Both Holy and Disc have some insanely powerful comps to play, with both Jungle Cleave and RMP being some of the most dominant comps in the entire game. On top of that, Shadow Priest has one of the best dueling specs in the entire game, performing incredibly well in some of the most recent 1v1 tournaments. In RBGs, Disc continues to be a high demand healer, with many RBG teams running multiple priests in their healing lineup. All in all, this makes priests one of the most well-rounded classes in the entire game, with every spec being valuable in PvP. Next up, it should come as no surprise that we have warriors in the best classes to main category. Arms remains one of the best specs in the entire game, and that doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. In 2v2, they are arguably the best class, doing well with any healer, but having two S-tier comps with Resto Druids and Resto Shamans. In 3v3, warriors have the best available comps in the game, even representing two out of the four comps we had listed in the S-tier in our most recent 3v3 tier list update. And due to their strength in both brackets, Arms actually breaks our ranking system, getting six stars in both 2v2 and 3v3. In RBGs, Warriors continue to do exceptionally well, where they are absolute beasts in teamfights and have great team-wide utility with AoE mechanics like Commanding Shout and Conqueror's Banner. Unfortunately, Warriors might not be ideal in solo PvP, but not to worry since they're still solid across the board for everything else. Trigger warning to all rogues out there, we're ranking them in the same category as Warriors, because honestly, they are also a good class to main in 9.1. All three rogue specs are doing pretty well in Season 2, with Assassination and Subtlety being incredible in multiple comps. Outlaw still needs to be developed a bit more until we can definitely say it's viable in PvP, but some rogues are finding huge success with the spec in 9.1. The one thing holding rogues back is their fairly limited comp options. Outside of RMP for Sub and RPS for Assassination, there aren't many classes that rogues compare with. Fortunately though, rogues are an absolute necessity in RBGs, where they play an essential role in objective-based gameplay. Paladin is also a really solid pickup for Season 2, with every spec being viable in arenas. Rhett is still one of the best melee DPS in the game and has tons of comp options in 3v3, but slightly limited comps in 2v2. In RBGs, Rhett's are really valuable, having great team-wide support on top of ridiculous AoE damage during Avenging Wrath. Teamfights with Rhett Paladins feel like an entirely different experience since people just get AoE headshot by Wings damage. 
Holy is performing a bit better than expected so far in Season 2, after concerns about its mana bar seemed to vanish once players realized how fast the metagame would be. And with tons of comp options in 3v3, Holy continues to do well, having a well-budgeted set of defensive cooldowns for this snappy, damage-focused meta. They also continue to do well in RBGs, where most teams usually play with two Disc Priests and one Holy Paladin. By the way, Prot is also pretty good, but if anyone asks, we didn't tell you that. <clears throat> All right, moving on, we have some classes that will be good to main for the rest of Season 2, though with a few less options than the ones we just mentioned. Starting off, we have Shamans as the first good class to main in 9.1, with every spec being really good this season. To the surprise of many, Resto Shamans have done really well so far in Season 2. As a high tier healer in both 2v2 and 3v3, they have tons of comp options to do well on the ladder. The Deep Tremor Legendary is currently farming in both brackets, giving Resto some insane kill power every time their Earth Ellie is off CD. Elemental is pretty busted in threes, but it really hasn't taken off as a popular spec despite having access to multiple high tier comps. With that in mind, it is actually pretty good in RBGs, where knock-based setups can absolutely swing teamfights. Enhance has dropped a tier since our last update, mainly due to some key healing nerfs in 9.1. But despite this, with its other specs being really strong, Shamans are great mains in Season 2. Speaking of great, Demon Hunter has taken everyone by surprise in Season 2. Now that its healing reduction is tied to Blade Dance and not Fell Rush, Demon Hunters have much better comp choices in 9.1. In our last 3v3 tier list update, DH had almost as many high tier comp options as Warriors, something that almost nobody saw coming. In RBGs, Demon Hunters are incredibly valuable. While they aren't the highest demand DPS class, having Spectral Sight is amazing on almost every map for monitoring ninja caps. Next on our list, we have Monks, who have 1.5 specs that are viable in PvP. Windwalker continues to be really strong in Season 2, sharing many comp options in both brackets with Demon Hunters and Warriors. Unfortunately, Windwalker is not that well represented in RBGs, and although they certainly aren't bad, they still have a ways to go. And speaking of struggling, Mist Weavers are still failing to find a footing in the Season 2 meta. Although they receive some major buffs in 9.1, they remain the discount version of Resto Shaman, often doing well in melee cleave setups, but struggling to have the healing output necessary to consistently win games. In RBGs, Mist Weaver is mid-tier at best, being noticeably worse than Disc Priests and Holy Paladins. Moving on, what might come as a bit of a surprise is our decision to not put Mage as a best class to main in 9.1. Obviously, Fire is one of the best DPS specs in the game, making it super valuable in Arena. But there are two reasons why you might want to consider something else this patch. For one, it continues to have a pretty high skill ceiling, preventing newer players from really taking advantage of all of its potential. On top of that, its success is really limited to 3v3, where it has some of the most high-tier comp options of any caster. But with very few comp options in 2v2 and almost no representation in RBGs, Fire Mage is almost a one-trick pony, but still a solid pickup for anyone wanting to grind raiding and test their skills. Capping off the good classes domain in Season 2, we have Hunters. VM and Survival are obvious standouts for anyone who has played Arena this season, with both specs doing really well in both 2v2 and 3v3. Jungle Cleave continues to be an S-tier comp and is the setup of choice for both specs. Marksmanship has really fallen off since the start of the expansion, taking a deep dive down the tier list since our beta predictions. It isn't necessarily a bad spec on its own, but compared to BM and Survival, it is notably worse when it comes to damage output. Now it's time to get a bit salty, because there are two classes that you might want to avoid maining in 9.1. Starting off, we have Warlocks. Although each one of its specs are mid-tier or better, Warlocks aren't seeing much play in either arena bracket. Although Destro has been featured in some recent tournament games, the class as a whole relies on very specific partners to do well in Arena, like Mages, Ellie Shamans, and Feral Druids. Without these specs on their team, Warlocks really struggle to find kills on their own. And finally, although we had high hopes for DKs on the PTR, the class has really struggled to be well represented in the Season 2 meta, and they just might be the worst class in the game for Season 2. Without many viable comps in 3v3 and being one of the worst melee DPS in 2v2, both DK specs are underperforming so far, meaning it might be a bit hard to find teammates to queue this season. So, just to recap, if you are looking for the best classes to main this season, Priest, Druid, Rogue, Warrior, and Paladin are really solid picks. Although Warriors really only have one viable spec, it's arguably the best spec in the entire game, with the remaining classes having viability for all of their roles in PvP. There is a wide variety of classes that we consider good to main in Season 2. While these aren't as versatile as the other ones we just mentioned, they still fill niche roles in Arena or RBGs. 
And finally, we have our last two classes that you might want to avoid maining in 9.1 if you have the choice. We don't mean to suggest that DKs and Warlocks are bad, or that you can't be successful with them. Instead, we are suggesting that it might be more difficult to find teammates and partners if you don't already have a reliable group to queue with. And that wraps up our guide for classes to main in Season 2. No matter what you plan on playing for the rest of the season, we've got you covered at skillcap.com slash wow, where you can get on-demand access to all of our class courses and arena commentaries so you can get ahead of the competition. As always, though, we hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you soon.